that pace. But the more countries, the more international issues you can discover, and I think we'll uh, go all the way with a good product. A number of different ways that was talked about yesterday, particularly with respect to the Australians uh, and the Indian Rocks and how we operate. Hello, uh, I'm Ed Green from the uh, Center for Naval Analysis, or CNA, uh, and welcome to the world of Shattered Jewel. Uh, this is a uh, TTX, or tabletop exercise, designed to look at how you would command and control, plan, and execute sea based operations in a large-scale humanitarian disaster situation. We will actually do this. Uh, and towards the end of the day, we will come up and turn pretty up here to the map and ask you, how are you going to actually maneuver your units? And what challenges would you encounter in this space? It's one of the challenges that General Tula and, and some other people have mentioned in this area uh, and, uh, and deal with that. Not every country may have to deal with that, only some. But we will take a two-hour lunch uh, as a mentioned. This is a similar to our role playing game, a place to sit and a uh, preliminary direction. If, on the other hand, you want to participate with the sit fit, just come see, them, see us and we'll put you in the sit fit group and, uh, and integrate you with the, the uh, sit fit forces. Support from, from the sea base. How you work with other people that are out there, other coalitions and other groups, maybe even individual countries. Just assume that you're either falling out of the UN uh, or you would operate independently. That's again your decision. You can break it down from the point of origin or break it down on the sea base, get it into things that can take it ashore, and then take that relief supplies ashore. And in the process, make sure all that is secure, supported, and coordinated. That plan was approved. It was a larger equipment tsunami. Uh, it was a broad request for assistance by. Yes, we went out bilaterally into the Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, 
going to plant uh, the RACC itself in the fish island itself. Okay, and that's on the first provision, I guess, the multinational coordination center in Singapore should have the pay of any pay of life to make sure that the sea and potentially one of the field hospitals to be deployed. That's to be considered as a... But we will be also considering bringing P3 to ensure our protection. We will have three legs from Australia, New Zealand, and in the region, along, along with those road two, sorry, along with those road two.